morning, today is Friday, December 12, 2022. I'm Nick Landers, Mark Vitsko. Well, it's all said and done. A lot more said and done in a piece. Pretty much Flatsville there. It always amazes me. Every day, brother has to own stocks, and the next day they go, eh. <laughs> anyway, the longer term downtrend is still intact. Short to medium term, though, working its way higher. Unfortunately, if you're just getting whack pre market, so pay attention to Wednesday's low. If that gets taken out, that would be a bit of a bummer. If you're just getting whack because the jobs data was good, I thought it was good to have good jobs data. Oh, well. That's why I ignore the news. It doesn't make any sense. Take a look at the NASDAQ. As you can see, Flatsville there. A lower term, still in a downtrend. Short term, medium term, though. Bottoming out in here and looking okay. Rusty looking okay, too. Nice big fat double bottom remains in place there. Most sectors, as you would imagine, following suit with the overall market. Some areas, though, like drugs. Bam, look at that. Banging on new highs with vigor. I hope they keep on keeping on, and then we'll look to play some pullbacks. There, let's take a look at the semiconductors. As you can see, stalling out a little bit in here. Longer term, like many areas, in a downtrend, but short term, medium term, looking pretty good in here. So what do we do? Well, continue to look to get long, but in light of this pre-market weakness, of course, wait for entries. And watch Wednesday's low. Again, if that gets taken out, it could get fairly ugly. One day at a time, though. That's what I preach. Any questions, as usual, Dave, David, I'm Dave Landry. And you start Mark Bennett.